Yeah. He's all that stupid things do you right there. Right, go on. Right. Right, this is just a quick uh, recap of what the interview I did this morning. The few things that somebody's just pointed out to me. Obviously, I can't say everything uh, in the in them interviews because some stuff's liable us and it already goes to a company in, in London. As I just want to point out that uh, it's going off at the same old grounding, but this bet, Barry Earn put a tweet out saying that me saying let's have a £500 wager on the fight between Conor Ben and our fighter Danny Kennedy. He said that put him off and then he put hashtag class. What does Barry Hearn mean? Does he mean that, uh, that the £500 we shouldn't have a bet and that betting on boxing is no good? Or does he mean that it isn't enough? Now let's back up a little bit shall we? Barry Hearn had a £5,000 bet on Eggington to beat Bradley Skeet. Now Eggington lost and he had to pay Andy Aylin five grand in cash that night. Now this is how I look at it, right? Barry Hearn can have a £5,000 bet with me if he wants, I'll up the bet to £5,000. Uh, so I like a bet but obviously £5,000, I'm not a multi-millionaire am I? So my cheeks have been nipping a bit, but I've had bigger bets than that before on other stuff. Or bigger gambles, should I say. But uh, I ain't going to bottle out of it. If he wants a five grand bet with me, I'll have a five thousand pound bet with him in cash. But I think it's stupid. I think five hundred pounds enough for the simple reason Eggington got beat against Ski and Barry Earn threw him under a bus in the changing rooms after. Of a five grand? He's supposed to be worth 90 million, isn't he? So what's five grand to him? It's no, is it? So I can't understand what his, his actual problem is. I'll tell you what, I'll reverse it out in two seconds. But uh, I think he's out of order, and if he wants a bet with me, I'll have a bet with him. Five grand, I ain't got a problem with that, Barry. Let's get money out. We can have a, we can get somebody else to hold, hold the cash, and I have not got a problem whatsoever having a bet with you but don't make out that I'm, I've got no bottle or no class because if we're going to talk about class you put Harold Bomber Graham in a ring with a guy who had one eye Julian Jackson the British Boxing Board of Control they refused Julian Jackson a license to fight Harold Bomber Graham in England so you moved the fight to uh, Spain he fought him in Spain and Errol Bomber Graham got knocked out, didn't he, at fourth round? We all know what happened. Even though we were winning the fight and the ref were going to stop it. Now, that's not classy, is it? If you're saying I've got no class, that's not classy. And then we've got Stubbub. Now, we all know about Stubbub, don't we, Barry? Now, Stubbub is a company that were designed by two guys who were at Stanford University. They sold it uh, to eBay now in 2007 but they had it for seven years before they sold it to ebay ebay only bought it because they saw what traffic were going through stubbub now stubbub are your sponsors it's all over all your t-shirts all your fighters shorts the tracksuits and everything now stubbub charge people 960 pound for 80 quid tickets now i know you're trying to come out with stuff making out that they're reselling tickets for you or a, or a pre-sale tickets they also sell secondary market tickets so let, let's not beat about the bush here Wembley Stadium and the Cardiff Stadium and the O2 and all these other arenas in the country they've been selling tickets for years they don't need stubbub involved so don't make out that you're doing fans a favour and it saves the matchroom switchboard selling tickets because we know fighters sell that much, but and then and, and arenas sell tickets, but Stubbub is there for you to make extra money on the ticket. You're there to rinse as much money out of out of it as you can. Now, personally, I don't agree with Stubbub. I think they should stay out of boxing. I'm not a Stubbub fan. But if you're talking about class, Julian Jackson had one eye, but you let him go in a ring to fight Errol Bomber Graham who were your fighter at the time and who you fought would deliver you a, a, a middleweight title Stubbub you make money off that do I need to go on any further about some of your class things that you do 
I mean, you, you, you played cards with my mate, Shane Shotgun Collinson, two week on trot, eight and a half thousand pound buy-in on Channel 5 at that Devil, Devilfish tournament in East London. Now, my mate lost 17 grand in two visits to the table with you, Barry. So, don't make out that so having a bet on boxing is, uh, is, not cla is not classy. Of course it's not classy. It's a side bet, isn't it? Mickey Duff and Frank Warren, they had £50,000 a piece in a briefcase when Robin Reed for Henry Wharton. Robin beat Henry Wharton. Frank won 50 grand off Mickey Duff. Now, I'll have a five grand bet with you if you want. I only had a 500 quid because I thought you had no bottle. You know, after Eggington got beat, I didn't think you'd want to bet again. You tore his, you tore his arse off. And I tore him a new arsehole in the dressing room, so... If you want, Barry, I'll have, a, I'll have a fight with you, but I'll have a bet with you. But don't talk to me or tweet things with my name in about class, mate. Let me tell you, I've done 10 years in prison, and five of it were keeping other people out of jail. So don't talk to me about class or morals. I've got more morals than you've ever got, mate, let me tell you. All right? More morals than you have ever got. And I'm going to tell you to your face when I see you as well, mate. I do like you, you're a bit of a rascal, but don't ever say that I've got no class, mate, all right? Got more class in my little finger than you've ever got, all right? I've been in boxing 33 months now, and all I see are people like you trying to block people, like trying to do me a bad turn with Dennis Hobson, grassing me up to British Boxing Board of Control. I've also seen... Uh, you tried to cause me and Ingram Jones a bit of problem, a bit of a problem when I mentioned Stubbub in an interview two years ago, where you were saying to Coogan, get him reported. He's not got a matchmaker's license. I've got a matchmaker's license for me in house. What's the point in me and Dennis both having a matchmaker's each? It's a waste of 168 quid, isn't it? It's like you and Eddie and both not going to have a promoter's license, are you? It's stupidness, isn't it? Good business ethics. But then again, you would know all about that, wouldn't you? And don't you dare go on Twitter and tell me Connor Ben gets more than 25 grand for a Wednesday night six round of a journeyman at your call. Do me a favour. He's never seen anything more than 25 grand. He doesn't get more than 25 grand on pay per view shows or even Joshua shows. Dave Allen's only on 20 grand on pay per view shows. 20 grand. And he's in every way. So don't tell me Conor Ben gets more than 25 grand. A novice welterweight fighting a journeyman. A your call, as I've just said, on a Wednesday night, please. Do I look like a lollipop, eh? That's all I've got to say on matter, Barry. I hope you have a good weekend fishing or whatever you're doing. And my best regards to your wife, Susan, and your kids. Alright, all the best.